I think the Courage Project is important because it tackles mental health issues in the PGR population. It allows us as a union to support PGRs and PhD candidates. To help create a network within the postgraduate community. Doing a PhD is challenging in its own right, let alone external factors or even internal factors, academic internal factors, imposter syndrome, anything that can affect PGR performance. I think the thing that I've got the most out of from today has been just kind of noting both the depth and breadth of experiences that people have taken the time to share with us. I think breadth in the sense that we've got stories just from the PGRs who are here and our wider national PGR community, but also we've had experienced researchers engaging with this as well and veteran academics sharing their accounts. Um, and the depth in the sense that those accounts were all really, really thought out. They were heartfelt and they recognised the need to provide better and more specific support for um, doctoral studies. The Courage has been doing this the past couple of years, almost two years now, very successfully. It encourages leadership by postgraduate researchers, so it's not just about the university doing something for other people, it's about people taking ownership and leadership and responsibility for mental health and well-being and challenging the way that universities work in practice. The fact that there are so many people here that are interested in and care passionately about this subject to make a difference and to talk to each other and that the atmosphere is so fabulous. It also helps people develop skills to deal with potential problems when they arise about trying to prevent things that might be causing problems in the first place at the individual level or the system or organisational level or at the university level or even more widely in the social and political sphere. Courageous conversations have been a theme throughout this and I think that, that depth that I mentioned, you know, um, people actually are talking candidly and honestly about their experiences, reflecting on those and being supportive to others as well. Throughout this project we've tried to put a lot of emphasis on the building of communities where possible to enhance resilience and I think we see a lot of the fundamentals of that being shown today. Creating a future towards addressing PGR mental health and well-being needs to be constantly revisited. So whatever the demands of life, PGRs can, will and have the support to react to whatever is happening in their PhD journey. And well, it brought us together as well. So quite a few people, people who care, people who want to see change. Courage can be the platform to invite PGRs to share their issues, whatever is going on and that affects their studies and their mental health and well-being should be shared with the relevant parties like the SSS or the PGR office. Failure can be perceived from various perspectives. It's not always failure. I felt really, yeah, powered.